How's it going guys, it's Kyle the how to go 123 here and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to install Noobs, also known as new out of box software, onto your Raspberry Pi to install an operating system like Raspbian or Libre Elec. This will work on any Raspberry Pi, in this tutorial I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3B+, so let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Alright, so to begin you're going to want to head over to your internet browser and you're going to want to head into the description of this video. And you'll see two links, the first link is going to be to the official Raspberry Pi website and this is where we're going to download our Noobs system installation files. So once you're on this page, you'll see two download options, Noobs and Noobs Lite. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, the difference is that the just the, the Noobs itself contains Raspbian and Libre Elect uh, within the installation files, and you can pretty much install them offline, whereas Noobs Lite, you have to connect to the internet to uh, install any operating systems. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading Noobs, but uh, Noobs Lite is a... Uh, the uh, file size is a little bit smaller, so that's the only advantage of my opinion of downloading Noobs Lite. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over just the Noobs itself. And you have two download options, either you can download it as a zip or you can download it as a torrent. In my opinion, I would prefer to download it as a torrent because if you just download it as a zip, it's going to download in Chrome. However, I noticed the download speeds are very slow. I'm assuming the servers that they're hosting this on uh, aren't very fast, so I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel. And I'm going to download it as a torrent, and that's going to download this torrent file here. And to download Noobs, you're going to need some sort of uh, torrent client to download the files. So in my case, I'm going to be using Q Qubit Torrent, I think it's called. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you're interested. You can also use another one called uTorrent, that's another uh, popular one. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the torrent file to open it, and it's going to open it up in Qubit Torrent. And uh, you're going to want to choose where you want to download your Noobs files, and I'm going to put them on my desktop, just for easy access. And I'm just going to select the folder there. And then we can just go ahead and click on OK. And if we go to the tray here, and you'll see the Qubit Torrent icon here, it's going to open up Qubit Torrent, and it's going to start downloading our files here. And you can see it's a, a lot quicker than just downloading the zip. So while that's downloading, we can go to the second link in the description below. And this is going to be to the uh, SD Card Association website. And we're going to want to download the SD card, uh, SD memory card formatter here. So just scroll down to the bottom here to where it says uh, SD card formatter download for Windows and Mac and you're going to want to download it for your operating system. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows one. And then we're just going to want to scroll down to the bottom here and click on accept. And that's going to download it. It's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long to download. And I'm just going to move that to my desktop as well, uh, just for easy access. So we're going to want to pretty much wait until Noobs is finished downloading. So in the meantime, we can uh, go ahead and plug in our SD card to our computer. So you're going to want to take your micro SD card. You're going to need a micro SD card that's at least 4 gigabytes, but I'd recommend going a little bit higher just so you have room for programs and files. So you're going to want to put it into the SD card adapter here, just like so. And then you're going to want to uh, put this into the SD card slot in your computer. In my case, I'm going to be using an external SD card adapter, so you just slide it in there. And there we go, our SD card is now uh, hooked up to our computer. Alright, so now you can see that Noobs has finished downloading. We can go ahead and right click on it and then click on pause and that's going to officially uh, stop the download. It will stop seeding. And then you're just going to want to close out of Qubit Torrent. And then you can see that Noobs is now on our desktop. So we're going to want to now extract the .zip for our SD card formatter. So you're going to need some sort of extracting program to extract it. There is a built-in Windows one and that will work fine, but I like to use WinRAR to extract as it files. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below as well if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and then click on uh, extract here. And that's going to extract this uh, folder here. We're going to go ahead and open it and you'll see a .exe setup file here. Go ahead and double click on it to open it and that's going to uh, start the installation process for the SD card formatter. So go ahead and click on next. I accept. Next. Next. And install and that's going to go ahead and install the SD card formatter. Go ahead and click on launch program. Click on yes. So now if you go down here to the taskbar, you'll see the SD card formatter icon and you can see that the SD card formatter uh, is now open. So now you're going to want to select your SD card. Now we're going to want to make sure it's the right uh, drive here. So I'm going to go to this PC real quick. We're going to want to double check that our SD card is in fact the iDrive here. You're also going to want to back up any files that you have on the SD card if you have any because uh, obviously we're going to be formatting this card here and you'll lose any files that are currently on the drive. So once you've made sure that the drive is in fact uh, the correct letter and you've backed up any files, we're going to want to go back to the SD card formatter, select your SD card, 
and then you're going to want to select quick format and then click on format and then click on yes. Now this should take about a minute. And there we go, our SD card has successfully formatted, click on OK. Now we can exit out of the SD card formatter and we can uh, exit out of this PC. Now we're going to want to open up the noobs system installation files. So open up the .zip. I'm going to be opening it up in WinRAR. Now in WinRAR you're going to want to click on extract to and you're going to want to find your SD card in the list here. So like I mentioned before, mine was the iDrive, so I'm going to want to highlight it and then click on OK. And that's going to extract all of uh, the noobs system installation files to our SD card. Now this could take some time, I'm going to say about, uh, about 2 to 5 minutes, so I'll be back once this has finished uh, extracting. Alright, so noobs has just finished extracting to our SD card. We can now exit out of WinRAR here. And you're going to want to eject your SD card, so just come down here to the USB icon here. And then click on eject USB card reader or eject your SD card. And there we go, we can now head over to our Raspberry Pi and then start setting it up. So now we can go ahead and set up our Raspberry Pi. So here I got the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So we got our SD card and we'll take our micro SD card out of the adapter. And you're going to want to put it into the slot at the bottom of your Raspberry Pi. Just like so. I'm actually not going to do that and I'm going to put my SD card back into the adapter and I'm going to run the SD card off my SD card, uh, external SD card slot adapter just because for my specific model of SD card, the Raspberry Pi seems to have trouble reading from it, but that's just for my specific model of SD card. You're probably going to want to just leave it in the SD card reader on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to plug it in to the USB like that. Next, we're going to want to take our keyboard and mouse and plug that into the USB. So I'm going to be using a wireless keyboard and mouse, so I'm just going to put the dongles in the USB slots here. Okay, next, we're going to want to hook it up to HDMI to display on our monitor. And you're going to want to set your monitor, obviously, to the HDMI uh, input. So finally, we'll hook it up to power. And remember, for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, you need 5 volts and 2.5 amps. And for the Raspberry Pi 4, I believe you need uh, 5 volts and 3 amps. So there's something to keep in mind. Go ahead and plug it in, and you can see our red LED uh, is shown. After a few seconds, you'll see a multicolor screen appear on your monitor. You're just going to want to wait a few seconds for your Raspberry Pi to boot into the Noobs system installer. Now once the Noobs system installer has finished booting up, you'll see two options of operating systems you can choose to install onto your Raspberry Pi. First you have Raspbian, and this version of Raspbian comes with uh, recommended software pre-installed. You'll also have a second operating system to choose from, which is called Liberate Elect. You can also choose to connect to a Wi-Fi network by clicking on the Wi-Fi network button at the top and signing into your Wi-Fi network. And if you do this, you'll have more options of operating systems to choose from in the list there. Now check the box of the operating system you want to install, then click on install to begin the installation process. You'll get a pop-up saying that any data on the SD card will be erased. Go ahead and click on yes, and the installation is going to begin. Now this will probably take about 30 minutes to an hour, so I'll speed this process up and come back once Raspbian has finished installing. So once Raspbian has finished installing, a pop-up is going to come up and it says OSs have been installed successfully, click on OK. Now a menu is going to come up and it says select OSs to boot. You don't have to do anything at the screen, just let it load. And uh, your Raspberry Pi is going to restart and it's going to restart into the Raspbian setup screen. Now you should see the Raspberry Pi desktop and you should see the setup screen. Go ahead and click on next to get started. First you're going to want to choose your country, language, and time zone. Once you've done that, click on next. Next you can choose to change the default password. Once you've done that, click on next. Now if you see black bars around the screen like you see in this recording, go ahead and click on the check mark there. 
Now you can choose to uh, set up your Wi-Fi, but if you connect it to Wi-Fi in the Noobs system installer, you should already be connected to Wi-Fi. So in this case, I just skipped it. And finally, you can choose to update Raspbian. Uh, in this case, I clicked on next, and this was actually a big mistake because it took about an hour to finish the update. So I'd go ahead and click on skip, uh, but you could choose to update Raspbian if you would like. So now it says our system is up to date. Once the update is complete, click on OK. Now the setup is complete. You can choose to restart your Raspberry Pi if you'd like to apply some new changes. Otherwise, you could just restart your Raspberry Pi later and start using your Raspberry Pi. So there we have it. We have successfully installed Raspbian via the Noob System Installer. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.